Hello and welcome to another budget and legging video. This is going to be a short video on just showing you how to detar your car. Now what I mean is by, you can see all these black spots, hopefully the camera's picking up, and not only that, you can hear it, it's very rough. This is just tar you pick up on the road. Um, now depending on where you are, like I think in America most of the roads are concrete so you don't particularly get this, but if you've got a lot of tarmac roads in the area, this is kind of what you get. Now, the first thing you need to do is wash your car. Get all the grit and the crap off your car first. Because if you don't, all you're going to do is rub that into your car and you're going to scratch it and you're going to make bits of your car. So wash your car first. After you've done the detailing, you have to wash the car again. Now, I've seen people use petrol and all sorts, and I'm telling you now, you do not want to use petrol on your car. On a hot day like it is today, the lacquer is soft anyway. When you put petrol on it, it's even softer. If you leave petrol on your car too long, you can actually wipe all the, all the, all the lacquer off and the paint and you just destroy it. There's loads of Detara stuff out there. The stuff I'm using is called Tardus, and you get it from a company called Autosmart. And the best thing about Tardus is, it just comes in a normal bottle, and as you can see, and once I spray this on, you can see within seconds, you can see the tar start running. Hopefully the camera is picking this up. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but within seconds, that tar is running. Now, the other good stuff about this is, if I leave that on to dry, Yes, it will look horrible, all the tar will run down, but I will not do any damage whatsoever to my paintwork. If I leave it too long and it dries, all you've got to do is respray it, and that softens everything back up and you're ready to wipe. And another thing I've seen people do is they get like a, you can get like a special scouring pad. Um, and what it's designed to do is it's designed to take off the tar easier, but I'm telling you now, do not even think about using that because it will just destroy your car. It's, it's almost like a, um, a scotch pad. It's just that I don't know why they even sell them. The best thing to use is use an old rag. Now, another important thing to do is if you are using an old rag, make sure you don't put it on the floor because if you put it on the floor and you get a couple of stones and you wipe it, well, then you're just going to put that stone across and absolutely destroy your car. So make sure you always keep it in your hand. Now, this stuff takes, it depends, anywhere from 10 to 30 seconds to start working. But all I'm going to do is I've just got the rag in my hand and as you can see, one wipe and as you can see I've took most of that off and I didn't even try it hard. If I just wipe it like that. Now in that first one I've taken off 95% already. If I left that on there for a few more minutes, I, well a few more seconds sorry, I would have completely taken off but it doesn't matter you just spray it again and as we can see the bits start running you might have to do it a couple of times it just depends how thick the tar is and also it depends on the weather because if it's really hot that will dry quite quickly so you need to get it off um, otherwise you just have to keep spraying it you can't do it on a rainy day because it doesn't like mixing with water so you have to make sure that it's a dry day and your car is dry. It's not the end of the world, it just doesn't work properly if there's water there. So I'm just going to leave that for a few more seconds and I'll have this door done in literally a couple of minutes. Now, there's loads of different um, stuff out there, so you know, try it. Some stuff is absolutely crap, some stuff is better and it doesn't particularly go off the price. This is the best stuff I've ever found, but I have used other stuff and it's been quite expensive compared to the next one next to it and it hasn't been as good so you're gonna to have to kind of trial and error which one works best for you um, but yeah so it is simple as that and as you can see if I just work this now we will get so that's a bit stubborn there I might have to do that again there's a few bits that are quite big on this as you can see I mean I'm not really trying hard here at all I'm gonna have to do it one more time and that's us sorted and like I said believe me do not use petrol do not use anything like that don't put your rag on the floor you will regret it because if you get any stones or anything and you scratch that car well, then it's gonna cost you a fortune to spray it it's a lot it's just gonna be a short and sweet video how to detire your car quick run through wash it first detar it, wash it again, then you can polish it, sort it.
don't use petrol, don't use anything like that because you will damage the lacquer. Even if you say, oh yeah, well I've done it and it didn't damage lacquer, you are damaging your lacquer, I can assure you. Use the right stuff, doesn't particularly take long, and there you go. Simple as that. So look, hope it helps, thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget, check out the forum, log on to the forum. So any questions, we can answer all the questions on the forum. And uh, yeah, we need more people on it. We only got it started a couple of days ago. So uh, yeah, thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget, get your hands dirty. See you for the next one.